the as bill option on this panel when you're on your dig screen you can survey points with your bucket by hitting this button here and when you do it it will say point logged and you'll get this purple block appear as bill is referencing that sort of survey so single point load logging point codes it's not quite as easy as going it going in and creating codes it has to be done in quite a specific format and imported specific codes used so it's rare we're going to get in we're going to actually utilize it on site also in here you can do auto point logging um, it's very popular with dozers when you're when you're muck shifting you can also do it with an with an excavator you can you can turn this on and tell it to automatically log a point on the left point of your bucket every certain distance or every every time five seconds every five meters and when your bucket um and it will automatically measure easting northern's elevations of wherever your bucket is and then also when as built show points for um all so if there's lots of machines all talking to one another on site via connex you can see all the surveyed points um, or just your machine basically what you're telling is just show me the purple blocks for my machine now the surveyed points to get to hide them basically you need to go into this data management folder when you start surveying when you click in this folder down the bottom it generates a layer called as built points and if you don't want to see them you hit that eyeball hit the tick and then you turn off all your points so there's not much not much else to it um when you create these points they can then be exported as a text file to give to the office for whatever reason maybe you're digging you come across some rock that um wasn't foreseen so you can then survey it with your with your bucket and send that position back to the office and they've got a record of where you started um, digging it out create models quite nice usually when certainly when i'm on site i would encourage users to play about with it um, when you become more confident on mc1 then it's definitely something that you should take advantage of creating a flat model will give it will just create you a flat surface on any height you can either type in a height that you want to model so you'll see this tool point height of 107 is currently my level on site wherever my bucket is so if i put my bucket on the ground and it tells me i'm at 107 and someone says all right we would need to fill the fill three meters in here then you would just put in 110.10 you could you could type that in here or you can put your bucket anywhere on site and hit this equals button and then it's going to create a zero point and then you can say okay just go down 80 mil from here or just go down you know 60 70 80 90 100 200 300 you can create your own offset very quickly create a flat model and then when you start to really get into it you can do slope models so meaning that you can put your bucket in one point, put your bucket in another, work out the distance, create a fall, and then slope it. It will interpolate the slope from point A to point B. I like to think of it as sort of advanced machine control training, um, but it's quite easy to do. And of course, when you go into it, you can use this question mark, and it's going to keep you right on on what it's expecting you to do so I can get an example here on my simulator so it is quite they are very very good functions when you start getting into them but not used very often for new users to machine control now tool is tool is where all your buckets are imported into the system so our fitters our engineers will do this at point of calibration but um, you cannot add buckets very easily in here and to do that all you would have to do to start is click this plus button down the bottom
give your give your bucket a name. Then follow the wizard. Does it have a tilt? No. Tool recognition is like a Bluetooth device that Leica created um, that can tell, it will automatically know what bucket's on the machine. Very rare, it's, you're going to see it on site. So you would just hit continue and then follow the steps. Close bucket completely, go to the next page. When you follow these steps, it's vital that you close your bucket and open your bucket quite slowly. Slow, gradual close. If you do it too fast, the calibration will mess up. Bucket length, right? Okay, what is the bucket length? Well, let's use the question mark. Click on it. Go in here. It's going to show you. Measure first pin down to the edge of the bucket. And so on. It's really easy to, to add buckets to this. When you go in to your tool folder, there's some nice hidden settings in here. So notice it says tolerances. When, when this is talking about tolerances, it is how quick do you want the screen to go red for cut and blue for fill. So see how that says height tolerance one meter. That means this here is going to be red for a whole meter. Okay, so a lot of the time you want to shorten that. Imagine you're you're digging, and it's just red for that whole time. That that meter could could be fifteen, twenty minutes. It could be an hour, depending on what you're digging out. So if you just put that to, if you you can just click on it and delete it, put it to maybe um, three hundred mil. then it's only going to go red when you're getting close to your level. So it automatically triggers your brain. It's tricking your brain. Oh, it's went red. It's game time. Because you know when it gets to within 20 or 30 mil, it's going to go green. And then that's you your dig level. And it's the same with, with blue. There's no need for it to be on a meter, especially in sort of house building, sevils, sort of medium-sized earthworks job. You want to create a smaller point of color change. And that way, when you're when you're working away, as soon as the color changes, it's engage time. Also, if you go into tool and tolerances, if you click back into one of these, um, always just let's just use height. You'll see beep down the bottom. If you click in here, Put your volume to medium or high and say um, red on or even green on it's going to be like what a receiver would do for rotating laser beep 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 beep, 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 beep. constant beep when you get to green um, some people like it most people I speak to hate it there's enough beeping going on in excavators but it's good to know there is volume options hidden in here in the tool section and machines you never want to go into this is where the calibrations are, are stored for the excavator generally don't go in there because there's a chance you can mess something up so project set don't need to go in there model options you really just need to go in once once you turn your triangles off surface shading on texts on or off and then settings in here machine image on or off elevation on make sure it's on white or black screen whatever you prefer cut fill in both corners and then two decimal places and then once you're done there you can do everything else from this dig screen bucket change so it's telling me i've got bucket one selected if you had 600 400 1200 ditching whatever you you need to go in here and choose whatever bucket you're working. It's vital that you have the correct bucket selected. This icon in here, this is where all your data is kept. So if the engineering team provide a DXF, a lot of the time you get a DXF and an XML. Generally, the XML is the surface, what actually gives you the heights. And then the DXF is added features. So if I hit this down arrow on the DXF, you can see I've got 
um, a road, a 500 mil offset for the, the road edge, the road channels. So if I turn these off, see, I don't have my line work now. I've just got the model. So if I go back in here, again, I'm not changing the XML. I'm just looking at the DXF. See, the XML is always on. That's what that means. It's viewable. See my screen? It's disappeared. I've turned off my model, turned my model back on. So if I go back into my DXF and turn my 500 mil offsets for my road, I've got that offset line again. So it's quite good if, if you're able to tell an engineering team, can you give me a DXF with the silver line, the clean line, the plots, you know, hedges, fences, roads, whatever you want and they call the layers an appropriate name when you go in here and hit your down arrow on dxf you can choose what you want on and off when you start messing about with here so see if i turn that off and then back on Notice in the right hand side, this arrow is no longer yellow. Look at the XML. XML is on just now. If I turn that off and then back on, this one is no longer at yellow. Now that means it's no longer active. So I'm going to be able to view these, but my height and my side have no active reference. So it simply won't allow me to go back into it. It's telling me you need to select a reference model. When it talks about a reference model, it's what do you want your cut and fill to reference? So I have to turn that on and then I'm going to get my cut and fill reference that. So if I had three models in the same job, I wanted to see them all, but I wanted my bucket to reference just one of them. You would choose them in here. You'd say, okay, well, I want to use my bucket heights to this now. I want my bucket height to reference this model. So it's quite nice being able to control it, control it all in here. But it is important if you, as soon as you click on anything in here, it will catch everyone out. Always remember to turn these back on. This guy here is the most used button on the screen when you when you start learning how to use it. It's your offset, side offset, height offset. And it's an offset to what your current dig is. So you can put your bucket anywhere on site, hit the equal sign and it zeros your dig. So everything is per, everything is zero. So let's say I was doing a compound. I found the bit that I wanted it to level off to. I put my bucket on it, I hit equals, Anywhere I now track to and put my bucket, when it goes green and says zero, it's going to be the level wherever I hit equals. I could put my bucket on top of a peg. Someone says to me, we need to dig down three meters below the top of that peg. Obviously without damage, damaging it, put my bucket roughly on top of it, hit equals. Whatever number appears in there, I can click on here and add three meters. So if I wanted to go down, I would say, okay, let's go 3.1. To make it minus, you hit the plus and minus button down there. Now I've just created myself a three meter dig from wherever my bucket is. When I'm on the dig screen, it always reminds me, see this yellow box that says offset? That means there is an offset applied. So if you're working in the machine, and you think, oh, there's something not right with my heights here. Look here, oh, there's an offset applied, that will be why. Click in here and you can hit zero and it just gets rid of it and takes you back to your model reference. This is your design, your surface height.